Whether it's a high-rise building, an offshore structure, a retaining wall, a bridge pier, or other engineering structures, piles are major foundation solutions for most construction developments where high loads exist or deeper ground layers are to be reached. With an in-depth pile analysis at the initial stage of a construction project, you can resolve underlying settlement issues while improving the overall stability of the structure. RS Pile's powerful functionalities can help you seamlessly model pile foundations, calculating their bearing capacity, along with analyzing their response under various load conditions. In this tutorial, you'll learn about the obstacles found in an offshore pile project and how to carry out an effective pile analysis in RS Pile using the parameters mentioned in this development. An offshore pile was installed in shallow seawater near the shore with uneven seabed and ground layers defined with four boreholes. The pile is a 20 meter long reinforced concrete board pile with permanent casing for the top nine meters. The pile diameter is one meter and the casing thickness is 25 millimeters. The pile is reinforced with 12 25 millimeter bars for the first 10 meters, decreased to half for the rest of the pile. The pile head is restrained from rotation for one meter because of the platform jacket. The loading case analyzed in this example is in one horizontal direction. The loads comprise 50 kN from the jacket divided for the purpose of this analysis into two 25 kN concentrated horizontal loads at the pile head and one meter depth. In addition, distributed wave load is given as a traction from plus three to negative 1.5 and is approximated as linearly distributed loads as shown. The rotational restraints are modeled as very large rotational stiffness values at plus five and plus four elevations. The concrete cylinder strength is taken as 40 megapascals and the reinforcement bars have yield strength of 420 megapascals and a modulus of elasticity of 200 gigapascals, while the casing has a yield strength of 350 megapascals. All tutorial files installed with RSPile can be accessed by selecting File, Recent Folders, Tutorials folder from the RSPile main menu. The finished product of this tutorial can be found in the Tutorial 13 Offshore Pile data file. Select Analysis, go to Project Settings, or click on the Project Settings icon in the toolbar. Select the General tab and enter the following. Units as metric, Program Mode Selection as Pile Analysis. Next, go to the Pile Analysis Type tab and select Individual Pile Analysis, then click on Laterally Loaded. Navigate to the Groundwater tab and check the box for Groundwater Analysis. Set the water table elevation to 3 meters. Leave the water unit as its default value. Then click OK to close the dialog. Select Soils, and then go to Soil Properties, or click on the Define Soil Properties icon in the toolbar. Enter the following soil properties. For Soil Property 1, set the name as Loose Sand, the Unit Weight as 14, check the box for Saturated Unit Weight, and enter 16, Soil Type as Sand, Friction angle as 27 degrees, KPY as 4000, KPY saturated as 3000. For soil property 2, enter name as dense sand, unit weight as 18. Check the box for saturated unit weight and enter 20. Set the soil type to sand, the friction angle as 36 degrees, KPY as 30,000, and KPY saturated value as 25,000. For soil property three, enter the name as stiff clay, unit weight as 18, check the box for saturated unit weight and set the value as 20, 
Soil type is submerged stiff clay. Strain factor value is 0 0.005. Undrained shear strength is 100 kPa. And KS initial stiffness is 135,000. Now click OK to save your input and exit the dialog. Select Soils, then Borehole Editor, or click on the Edit All Boreholes icon in the toolbar. Add boreholes by clicking on the Add button, ensuring that there are four boreholes in total. Click Insert Layer Below twice to add the dense sand and stiff clay layers. Then enter the borehole information as per this table. For borehole 1, XY is 0, 0 and elevation is 0. Layer 1 thickness is 3. Layer 2 thickness is 6. And layer 3 thickness is 20. For borehole 2, XY is 30, 20. And elevation is 0. Layer 1 thickness is 5. Layer 2 thickness is 5 and layer 3 thickness is 20. For borehole 3, XY is 2, 25, and elevation is negative 1. Layer 1 thickness is 6, layer 2 thickness is 6, and layer 3 thickness is 20. And for borehole 4, XY is 25, 2, elevation is negative 2. Layer 1 thickness is 3, layer 2 thickness is 4, and layer 3 thickness is 20. Click OK to close the dialog. Select Piles, then go to Pile Section Properties or click on the Define Pile Section Properties icon in the toolbar. Create three Pile Section Properties and name them as Pile Property 1, Pile Property 1.1, and Pile Property 1.2. For Pile Property 1, enter the following properties. Section type is Reinforced Concrete. Compressive Strength is 40,000. Cross section is circular and diameter is 1 meter. Now click on the Concrete Designer Design button and enter the information as follows. In the Reinforcement tab, add Pattern 1. Set the rebar size as Europe BS4449 25mm. Pattern type is Radial. Number of bars is 6. Angle from x-axis is 0. Set the cover depth to 100. Yield stress to 420,000. Elastic modulus to 200 million. Now add pattern 2. Rebar size as Europe, BS4449, 25 millimeters. Pattern type as radial. Number of bars as 6, angle from x-axis as 30, cover depth as 100, yield stress as 420,000, and elastic modulus as 200 million. Now go to the casing tab. Set the casing thickness as 25 millimeters. Yield stress as 350,000 and elastic modulus as 200 million. Click OK to close the dialog. In the Define Pile Section Properties dialog, select the Copy icon to copy the properties from Pile Property 1 to Pile Property 1.1 and 1.2. Select both Pile Properties and click OK. In the Pile Section Properties dialog, Select Pile Property 1.1, click on the Concrete Designer Design button, go to the Casing tab, and uncheck Add Casing. Now click OK. Back in the Pile Section Properties dialog, now select Pile Property 1.2. Click 
click on the Concrete Designer Design button, delete Pattern 2, and in the Casing tab, uncheck Add Casing. Select Piles, Pile Types, or click on the Define Pile Types icon in the toolbar. In the Sections tab, set Pile Head Elevation to 5 meters and Cross Section Type as uniform. Click on the insert layer below button twice to add sections 1.1 and 1.2. Edit the length of the pile section properties as per the table shown on screen. Now select piles and then add pile or click on the add single pile icon to open the add single pile dialog. Ensure Pile Type 1 is selected. In the Geometry tab, toggle off the mouse icon to specify the Pile 1 location. Enter X as 14 and Y as 14. In the Loading tab, click the plus icon to add a load property. For the Loading direction, select General. Click on the plus icon in the bottom left and add the loads as per the table shown on screen. In the Tractions tab, click the plus icon to add a traction property. Click the plus icon in the bottom left to add the traction loads as per this table. Note, when assigning the traction load, the top depth is measured with respect to the pile head. Now click OK to close the dialog and place the pile. Save your file and hit Compute to see the results. You can choose from the available options in the Results drop-down menu. Alternatively, you can right-click the pile and select Graph Pile to see detailed graphs and tables. By default, you'll see detailed graphs for the results, displacement, bending moment, shear force distribution, and several other results. You can change the displayed results by clicking on the Edit Charts icon in the toolbar or by right-clicking on the chart and selecting Edit Charts. For this tutorial, we'll change Beam Moment Y Prime Z Prime to Beam Moment X Prime Z Prime, Beam Shear Force Y Prime to Beam Shear Force X Prime, and Soil Reaction Force Y Prime to Soil Reaction Force X Prime. To make these data types the default, we can click the Default button. If you would like to match the charts to the table below, you can do so by clicking Match to Table. For this tutorial, we'll instead match the table to the charts. Clicking on the Edit Table Columns icon allows you to adjust the table columns that are displayed. Here, you can add or delete fields from the table and also add elevation to the columns on display to view the results with respect to elevation. You'll note this dialog also has a Match to Charts option, which we'll click so we only see results for the selected charts. You can export all these results to an Excel file by clicking on the Export Data to Excel icon. Finally, if you close the Charts view and go back to the main view, you can click on the Report Generator option and get a full report of your analysis and results. Have more control over defining and analyzing your pile properties with RS Pile's advanced 3D pile analysis capabilities. Visit the link in the description below to start your free trial of RS Pile.